us let us begin. Welcome to the Board of Selectmen's meeting for October the 18th, 2017. I'd like you all to stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and please be seated. Uh, what I'd like to do first is approve the warrants. Well, no, maybe first I would like to just uh, say that uh, the chairman is uh, not able to attend this evening's uh, meeting, and uh, we will and have moved most of tonight's agenda to November 7th. Um, what I'd first like to do is approve warrants, approve an expense warrant for uh, October the 16th, 17, RBX refunds for a total of $770.71. I'll make that motion. Oh, we just hang oh, uh, you we'll want to do, do all We'll do it all together, I think. Uh, what do you yep. think? Good, good plan? Yep. Approved expense warrant of October 17, 17 for $138,547.98. Approved expense warrant for 10 10 17 for $33,232.70. Approve an expense warrant for October 4, 17, for $2,131.94. I believe, Karen, just want to double check that now that I'm looking at that. I'm thinking it's 94 cents. And what did I have? Uh, zero, zero nine four. Oh. So I'm okay. thinking you meant 94. Yeah, I think it's 94 too. Approve uh, warrant article of October the 3rd, 17, RVX refunds for 36600 Twenty-six dollars and fifty cents. At uh, fifty-six cents, approve expense warrants for October 17, 17 for twenty-two dollars and fifty-five cents, and approve expense warrant for October 17, 17 for eleven thousand six hundred and fifty-two dollars and ninety-five cents. If I could have a motion, I'll make a motion to accept all of the uh, above mentioned expense warrants. Thank you, and I'll second it. Uh, any discussion on that? No. No discussion. Those in favor uh, of approving the warrants as listed uh, signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? No one's opposed. Motion passes. Approve selectmen's minutes for October, uh, for August 3rd, 17, and an executive session set of minutes for September 27th, 17. The 8 and 3 17 is the executive session minutes. And oh, then I'm sorry. 27th, oh, thank, thank and you. And for the first one. And we'll the first one. Okay. Second. All right, so can I have a mo motion to that effect? 8317 executive session and 92717. Uh, you have a motion. Thank you. Second. So uh, any discussion? Seeing no discussion, uh, those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? No one's opposed. Motion passes. Approval of minutes, monthly reports from other departments. Advisory committee minutes of September the 14th, 17. Uh, Fire Department Monthly Report, September 2017. EMS Monthly Report, September 20, uh, uh, 2017. Give us some notices on that if you want to read it. Yep, I, did, I, yeah, I just pulled them out of the slide. Well, let me make the motion and then we can okay. discuss. Yep. I'll make the motion to accept the minutes and, and the reports. Seconds. Yep. Um, and then just some discussion. We've got three new members um, of the Brookfield Fire Department. Uh, Matthew Langvin, Luke Quitricelli, and Micah Laird. Uh, so Good. thanks to those three people yeah. for volunteering, stepping forward, uh, because uh, um, we're certainly in a position where we could use some more on-call firefighters. Right. <clears throat> and then also we have an eight-year anniversary for Daniel Driscoll. Um, on September 1st was his eight-year anniversary with us. And then we have uh, also a new member is Micah, Micah Laird. Congratulations. So, and congratulations and thank you. Yes. So those in favor of um, accepting the reports signify by saying aye. Aye. Any, aye. Anybody opposed? No one's opposed. Motion passes. Announcements. Uh, trick or treat and Halloween events will be Halloween night of October 31st. Trick or treat in the village and common areas from 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Meet at the fire station for the parade to the common. We'll leave promptly at 7.30. Costume contest in the gazebo upon arrival at the common. In an effort to help those who live in the trick-or-treat area, trick <coughs> area, candy donations are being accepted at the library and at the elementary school through October the 28th. Please remember that these donations are meant to help ease the burdens of those in the village and common areas and are not intended 
to be the sole source of trick-or-treat candy. There will be no bonfire this year. And then follows Tyler Wallinen of District 8 of Senator Ann Gobi will be holding office hours at Brookfield Town Hall from 2 to 3 p.m. Thursday, October 19th, tomorrow. Um, all are welcome. Uh, and then the Brookfield Winter Parking Band. Uh, an announcement, uh, a winter parking ban is in effect in Brookfield from November 15th to April 1st for all public ways in the, in the town during the hours of 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. There will be no parking on the streets whether or not snow is predicted. Any violation is subject to a $25 fine. And with that, we open the floor to public access. Good evening and welcome. Okay, on September 27th, I was not here. You talked about the Verizon, I owe Verizon bill, and you talked about trees not being planted by me. Yep. Okay, so that's a total lie. Five trees were planted on the site of the house. You stated that I didn't plant the trees. That's what I was told. Who were you told to by that? The highway department. Okay, what do they know about it? They, went to, they were not the uh, tree board well, at the time. Thank you for informing me. Well, you should be checking before you make a, uh, a statement like that. I checked with who I thought I, had and I told, responsibility. And uh, I told uh, Bill, the former tree warden, back in April or May of this year that I had planted five trees, just so he would know. Just we were talking about different things in trees, yeah. and I just told him I had done that. Okay, thank you. So I think you should uh, make a, uh, you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna make a statement, it should be a true statement. Do we have a, a plan of where where the trees were supposed to be and what was planted no. where? No, he never Is told that? me when, where, how. So I just took it upon myself when I planted five in front of the stone wall on town property. In with the rest of them. Because okay. that's where the trees were cut originally. So, but you didn't tell anybody else? No. Okay, thank you. Well, there was, there was no, no paper trail or there was no format or anything to follow. They just, they okay. made it announced, just plant five trees, so that's what I did. Okay, thank you. Second of all, Beth, you were talking about Verizon Bill. How, yep. how Verizon uh, talking about they're supposed to, you know, I'm supposed to pay for the details. Yep. So let me set you straight now because you don't know what you were talking about. When in this state so, of mass. So stop right there yeah. before you start. Okay. I'll before okay. you say that, I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. I'm, did you or did you not move a building? No, that's, let me finish. Okay. So, but before you say, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm going to stick to that. Yes, yeah. that's true. Okay. So, and Verizon conducted work that they would not normally conduct in order to move that building. Why don't you let me finish? Okay, I'll I let you finish, you but, but instead of saying, let's set you straight, why don't we have a discussion about the facts of the matter? Well, let me, let me, let me say what... Very beginning. Right, okay. well, that's what right. I'm going to get so, to. I've, I've only been talking about the bill and the facts that the building was moved. I have made no inclination about what mm -hmm. you know or what you don't know. Okay, so let's keep it on terms of what's the facts. Of the right, so the facts of what you did say was okay. that you said, oh, well, that they're moving a generator or a transformer, that's different. But when they're moving a house and wires, that's different, you said. Remember, watch the tape. So I'm going to tell you how it works in the state of Mass, okay? In the state of Mass, no utilities own the air rights, okay? So if I want to move a building or a big truck, the utility companies have to move the wires or whatever's in the air at their expense, whatever it takes. Now, if prior to the house being moved, they were in town. So, for which two Mass weeks. General Law do you say cites that? Oh, I don't know. I just look, I don't know what it is offhand, but it's there. Okay, I've, okay, so I've so done two houses. What the facts are, so right. So, I would you, think that you would know which Mass General Law. Well, you can look it up. About. I'm just okay. stating the, what the facts. Are. So, I've moved two houses, and the utility companies are responsible for moving the wires police details, anything else that they have to do. Engineering, planning, blueprints, it's all on them. I've done two houses. Now, when I moved this house, the, if you notice, the trucks were in town for three weeks prior to the move because they had to mark all the wires, they had to put loops in the wires, they had to get everything ready to go so when the day of the move, they could just drop the wires. So, they were responsible for that day. I was responsible for the house move. The house move had two state tro troopers. That was my responsibility. Verizon was responsible 
for the details of the wires. Now, we had details in North Brookfield, Verizon did, because we had wires down on 148 and they had to stop traffic up on 148. Those details got paid by Verizon the same day. But they said they told Brookfield, they told the police chief and the secretary over there, and they told me three different times, and we were told by three different people, and they told me prior that the bills will be paid by us. So did you get the name of any of the people you were Oh, I got a whole book. I have a whole book, and so does the police chief. We all have so, that. So we all get the names. But then some well, super, let me finish. Okay. Some supervisor came on, mm -hmm. and she says, oh, we don't want to pay the bills now. So whoever wants to pay can pay. So that's where it's at now, and that's where the chief and I have been trying to work, trying to get through to someone else above her because everyone else that was in charge and they had big jobs said they were gonna pay the bill. Now they paid North Brookfield details, so why wouldn't they pay Brookfield? It's all the same. And they paid $90,000 worth of moving the wires before the house got moved, roughly. That's what one of the guys told me. So they're responsible for the lousy $1,200 for the, uh, I think it was three officers, maybe four, yeah, $1,148. 1200 for, yeah. I think it was four officers were on. The, Probably for four hours. Oh, no, it was eight hours. I think they were on for, I think two of them were on for eight, two were on for six or something like that. So when you, when you make, make a statement about me owing the Verizon bills, I do not owe the Verizon bills. Okay, so if you provide the names of the people that you spoke with at Verizon. Well, the, the Chief's got all that, and Holly's got all that over there, too. Okay. They, the and we're trying to, we're they trying said to, they didn't have the. They said they didn't have the names. Do you, oh, they got the names. I've given them to them twice already. Oh yeah, okay. the secretary I have. It may have been a while ago. When did you last give them the names? Well, when we were trying to get this resolved, that was a year ago. Oh yeah, Can so a good year again? ago. Yeah, I'll get the, I'll get the name. But my point is, don't make statements and talk about you know how how the Verizon and how they work and who pays what because it's not true. My house move is completely different than. Now, if I had a telephone pole move, which I did, up on East Main, that was on me. I had to pay the detail on that, because it's a telephone pole. That's different. That's not air rates. So they said, if you want the pole move, you have to pay us. And I did. But, but as of tonight, we're still, it's, the town is still outstanding, $1,100. Around well, 12, yeah. Yep, the town is still right. outstanding. I understand that. Okay. So, so if you can provide the names of the people that you contacted at Verizon, again, apparently you supplied it a year ago. My understanding is that the police didn't, or at least when I checked with them like two months ago, they did not have the contact information of the people you had spoke with. So I would like that from you okay. if you have it. I can so get that, that yeah. um, we can escalate it because, frankly, our administrative assistant at the, at the police station is not a collector. Okay, They're, that's not... Part no, no, of what no, her skill set is. Okay. No, but she, what her so, job is, her job is to follow up on details and who gets paid and who's not been a, paid. Absolutely. And where the money, at, at where the point, money's coming from the contractors. That's her job. Right. So in essence, that is her job, to make sure that the money does come in. Right, but clearly if Verizon so, is being difficult, it may be beyond the scope of what she's able to do. So if you have the contact right. information, so I would appreciate it. I'm working, sure. I talked to the police chief and me and him, uh, he's going to get back to me, I told him, and he's going to find out what needs to be done. Good. Okay. Thank you. So, so that's that's what we, I, I talked to him when Monday or Tuesday, I think it was, when he got back from vacation. I think it was Tuesday when he came back. It was on or That's when I talked to him. So, all right. So you get that. Why are we running four one-ton dump trucks in this town? I don't know. You're the selectman, as far as I know, managers. Sure. Sure. Okay. So why are we so running we're, four one-ton trucks? Can you find that out? Karen, well, actually, I've heard the request before, so I would uh, gen, then just turn to Karen. Could you just send an email to Linda and ask the uh, question, because the question has been asked before, and I think that she was, in fact, going to research it. I think she's the one that looked into it initially. Yeah. Right. Did she, did she get the answer? Did she did get the Who? answer. You. Who's going to give me an answer? Linda, Linda answered you at an open meeting like Oh, no, 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 she, didn't, she did not give me an answer on the four oh, trucks, okay. no. Okay. And if she did, I didn't hear it. I'm sure I heard it if she did, you know. Okay. So I'm just, well, I, what, I mean, we'll, we'll have Linda. four one-ton trucks. I mean, what, what's going on? How many more trucks do we need in town? It's okay. more than we have for drivers. Okay. What are you doing? Okay, now another thing I was not happy with you guys is um, John LaPointe, when you guys ordered the houses to be removed, mm -hmm. you guys weren't too compassionate with him. You know, 30 days, bang, you know. You couldn't give him a little bit more time. 
He got every, he got what everybody else got. Well, other people aren't living in the other people weren't even connected to the houses. That was his house recently, within six months. The other house has been empty for umpteen years. He could have appealed. That's a little different scenario. He this is appealed. a guy just lost his house within six months, and you don't even six. When was it? Six? Yeah, seven, eight months, somewhere in there. February, and you couldn't even you know give him a little bit more time. I mean, no. Well, I don't, I mean, you know, we're a small little town and you can't even have a little compassion for a guy. He's, he's in a, he's practically in an elderly place. And what we understood from the health inspector was that the building should not even be entered. It was that severe. So I think I'd trust the health inspector to give us direction. You know, I, I, I have a building next to it and it's, 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 the building is sound and I've been in it and it's fine. Well, I mean, we even had one of the abutters here saying that he was hearing stuff falling off the building. So. Yeah, I, I, I was here when, when he said that, but the build, pretty much the building is sound. There's nobody around it, you know. I'm, I'm talking about letting the guy, you know, have him, if he needed a little bit more time, I think, you know, you should have given him a little bit more time. That's okay. what I'm saying. Thank you. When are you, take, when are you planning on taking the houses down? Do you have any time frame? The court has to act. Okay, so then he's got more, okay. Right. So it's, it's 30 really days 30 days until the court acts. The ne next, day, next step in the process. And well, that's what I, I, that's what I, that's what I asked the town attorney. He's got to go to the court and get. Right. Now that the period is 30 days has run out, he needs to go to the court and get approval. And that usually happens, and then, then it's another 48 hours after that. Mm -hmm. So that the time available <clears throat> to you is 30 days plus when the court acts. And the court's seemingly are acting very slowly these days on those kinds of Largely, things. Largely, so, yes. So. Well, they're busy. Yep. All right. So you're going to get an answer on the trucks then? Yep, thank you. All right. All right. With that, uh, the uh, move to the agenda. The first item on the agenda is Mass Historical Update. Just a quick one. That, in fact, uh, Mass Historical has commented to UMass's uh, documentation, and I'm hopeful that this week UMass will be putting the documentation together so that I can provide my report, and with hopefully in the next two weeks we'll close out that account and get our money back. So that's Mass Historical. There is a public document that's hovering around that, uh, uh, that's in the Selectman's office uh, if anyone is interested in getting an uh, advanced copy of the public document. I'll move to item number two, uh, a vote to plow public roads. So, so this was a little was it minutes, minutes. Beth, you got in there. And, uh, I left it in the same order. I, I tell you, it. I tell you. Do not even start. I know, but help me. That's I can't even. Here's the plow. Here's the plow. Oh, that's here's the, here's the plow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm old. I'm an old guy. Yeah, All right. And, so, and it's been highlighted so I can read it correctly. Yeah. And I did actually have some questions about uh, surrounding this one. Okay. So let's, let's start. Uh, due, due to the difficulty in obtaining the whole harmless agreements, Herb, Herb J.B., Highway Superintendent, is recommending that the usual private roads be plowed for, for this year with the addition of Chestnut Street. Included in this list is Brunel Ave, Chestnut Street, da uh, Draper Ave, Draper Street, Forest Street, a uh, section that was repaired, Joe Goddard Road, Lakeside Ave, Lane 21, Lane 24, Latenda Drive, Mel Lane, Oak Ave, and Ward Street. And with that, do I have a motion to... Right. Oh. You have a motion of public roads. And I'll second it for discussion. I'll second it for discussion. So my, my one question is just to fully safeguard the town. Is it worth doing one more certified mail mailing of some form of release to the property owners that have not returned their Turn release around. and basically make it give them one of the dates of our future selectmen meetings? and say that unless they appear before the public hearing to state they don't want their road plowed, they, they are in essence concurring with the whole harmless agreement. Would that be legal to do it that way? Sure. You just I mean, it's better than us just voting it. To me, I, I think it's safer for us to go ahead and send a certified mailing that, that includes what they're supposed to return to us mm -hmm. and say, please return it by, you know, right. some, some day. Mm -hmm. um, However, if you fail to return it and you don't appear before us uh, on this day, you're, stating, accepting. you're accepting the conditions that, of this whole farm. That's a good one. Yeah, we, you know, we've sent out the ones that we haven't received. I don't know if we're going to get them. We, we sent them out um, 
twice, and I believe the second time was certified. I'll check with Lois, but I think it was. Right. The problem is, let me explain what happened. Last year we had like 22, um, 22 uh, Harold Cole Thomas agreements that we needed to get back. Yep. This time, because the scope's kind of been creepy, it's been expanded because when we went to the assessors, um, he gave us a list that was like 70 something because it included all the abutters in the back, and not just people that lived on the road, but abutters, even if they slightly abutted, which this is the problem. Most people are saying, we've never had to sign them before, some of them are flat out refusing to sign them. Like you said, this, these are the things we've been, you know, we've been experiencing. So yeah, it probably would be a good idea to do right. that. I, I don't know if it would fully cover us. It might be worth a, a note to, to town council, but I would, I would presume that it at least puts us in a stronger stand if somebody later came back to say, you yeah, know, that know. they had some problem with our plowing. Yeah, I'm thinking, have, at least notifying them to say, you have to say no. Right. Is, you know, whether we send out an additional set of forms, I, I'm, you know, ambivalent to that. But, right. But sending out a letter that says, oh, by the way, we didn't get these back, and do you want us to plow this road or not? Right. And if you and say- silence it, is consent. Si silence is consent. Right. So do you want to catch with Cindy and Lawson? And yeah, absolutely. Super. So Perfect. as amended? As amended. As amended to uh, send- A third notice certified. third notice certified. No return. Says it's okay. Yep. Okay. That good? All right. Good. So we have a motion. We've amended it. We'll vote the amendment. Those okay, in favor so of the amendment? Aye. Aye. Those back to the main motion um, of the plowing public roads as amended aye. with the third notice. Aye. And motion passes unless there's somebody else here that's going to say no and no one else is going to say no. All right, so with that, uh, sign special permits. We have an opportunity, Beth. Oh, dear. Your signature. But I'm thinking if I read 10 of these, maybe. Yep, and then. And you can... sign 10 of those, we do that. In I think we can do that. Three, four, five, six. I brought my magic pen. So seven, we're good. Eight, nine, and if your hand gets tired, then I'll we'll, let you know. we'll stop, all right? So, um, we are now looking for the Brookfield Lions, maximum number of vehicles. I'm going to figure out what we want to read here. It's second page. Second page is the better page. Well, no, that has the amount of vehicles. Usually they just say the, uh, the group and the date and the pond and then how many vehicles. Okay, I'm looking for, so we're talking. Everything's on the front except for oh. the amount of vehicles. Oh, okay. Peak participants or vehicles, I think. Oh, be. we're looking at uh, 50 vehicles. Uh, we're looking at an event on January 27th on the Quigo River by the Brookfield Mines. That's one. We're looking for uh, Quigo Pond on April 21st, 2018 by the Neba of Massachusetts. Anyway, and 25 vehicles. Yeah, we basically just in that corner. We're now dealing with May the 13th, 2018, Quaybar Pond, the Rye Bass Stalker. Stalkers, okay. 20 vehicles. We're looking at April 22nd, 2018. Quaybar Pond, the Weedhawk Anglers, and 20 vehicles. April the 29th, 2018, Quaybar Pond, uh, the Ice Holes, and 17. May the 6th, 2018, Quaybar Pond, Neva again, and 25 vehicles. May the 12th. I missed one below it. Oops, I missed one below it. I'll do that again. Uh, was there two ice? No. Might be two different. No, I did this guy. Oh, you did? Yep, okay. I did that guy. Promised. Um, May the 12th, 2018, uh, Quaybar Pond, Good Spirit, Vast Masters, and 15 vehicles. And then we have May the 20th, 2018, Quaybar Pond, Massachusetts Bass Federation, 25 vehicles. And I 
Freeport Pond, Pioneer Valley Bass Anglers, uh, 19 vehicles. Ooh. Yep, uh, May 27. 527. Yep, and then June 16, 2018, Quibar Pond, Fall River Bass Anglers, 23 vehicles. So, we'll take a motion. I'll make a motion to approve all of those as red. I'll second that. So, with that, those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? No one's opposed. Motion passes. So that's five, six, seven. Just trying to make sure that we accidentally have any overlapping ten. dates, and so far we're good. So we've got a We have 10, 20, we have 13 more. You good for 13 more? I'm good for 13 more. And that way we don't have to do this again for a while. Okay, we're moving off to June the 30th, 2018, Quaybark Pond, Nabassan Small Boat Kayak Trail, uh, 17 vehicles. We're off now, to, to the best of your knowledge, we haven't had any complaints or reports after any of these, because I know I haven't seen anything on the, no. any type of problem log of any of these. Not since a couple of years ago. What's that? Not since a couple of years ago when no. someone requested that they have something about the they needed extra port ponds, port ponds yeah. but I think that was a big one, which is the Alliance Club, which they is always there's never happened to that place. Absolutely. Okay. Yep. Great. All right, we're moving off to July 22nd, 2018, Quaybar Pond, American Bass Anglers, District 36, 25 vehicles. August uh, 5th, 2018, Quaybar Pond, 97 fish and 20 vehicles. Fifth of 2018, South Pond, 97 fish and five vehicles. That is actually the same date. Are they two different ponds? Oh, yep, one's South Pond and yeah. one's Quaybog. Okay. That's interesting. So they split up across two. Two. Got it. Oh, are you ready? Yep. Okay. Uh, we're now August 11th, 2018. Quaybark Pond, uh, Blackstone Valley Bassmasters, and 16 vehicles. Great. Uh, we're off to August 12th, 2018. Quaybark Pond, Coventry Bass Anglers, and 16 vehicles. We are at August 25th, 2018, Quaybark Pond, Wachusett Bassmasters, 16 vehicles. August the 25th, 2018, South Pond, um, South Pond, good. Uh, Worcester County Bass, Bassers, there we go. I almost feel like we should have a separate page on our website for all of the fishing events that we hold in town. It's Seriously. Great. <laughs> Just August the 29th, 2018, South Pond, uh, South Middlesex Bass Anglers. I actually saw them stocking the pond the other day. And five vehicles. Yeah, honestly. It's not a bad idea. I'm sure they would appreciate the, the uh, publicity and it yeah. couldn't hurt for people in the area to be aware of what we got. Yeah. Yeah, that was so popular. Yeah, that? I didn't. I did not know we were so school, popular. Schools are popular and... Uh, and the ponds are and popular. The ponds are popular. Been, well, they've been popular for 3,000 years. So <laughs> let's get, get that straight. Exactly. Um, September 8th of 2018, South Pond, Quaybog, uh, Lake Association. And said seven vehicles. And we have September the 8th, 2018, Quaybog Pond, Quaybog Lake Associates, and 25 vehicles. So that's the two ponds. And then uh, November, uh, September the 9th, 2018, Quaybar Pond, Lip Ripper Fishing Club, and 15 vehicles. And September the 23rd, 2018, Quaybar Pond, Northeast Rye Bass, and 15 vehicles. 
September the uh, 16th, 2018, Quebec Pong, last cast anglers in 19 vehicles. Last but not least, October the 7th, 2018, Quebec Pond, Bass Addicts, and 17 vehicles. I'll make a motion to the effect of all of these. And I'll second that. Any further discussion on fishing in Brookfield? Seeing none, those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Motion passed. Aye. 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 All right. Ooh. And we have, do, should we do this tonight, Cemetery D? Yeah, Mike put that in at the last minute. That's why I put okay. it under other because it was not close to it. Okay, so, all right, so we have a Cemetery D that it appears needs to be acted upon this evening. So with that, with that, uh, purchase. This is the repurchasing of plot 66, grave number B in section A. And where's the commission selectman? I the understand owner to execute this agreement. Uh, and the lot owner is the prize wars and the O'Connells. So with that, I'll have a motion to uh, sign this memorandum of re repurchase. Uh, you have that motion? And I'll second it. And those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Motion passes. So we're good for the rest of these, am I correct, Karen? Yes, that, that, that's, that's all backwards in case it should come up. The next time. Point down now that that's not okay. Yep, good. Nothing in this. Nothing in correspondence, so then it's just other, and I do have one other. Just Speaking of things that are happening, but we'll let that. Oh, was there a second thing that had to be signed, or was just the? No, that agreement? was just it. I think it's. Uh, there is actually the actual deed. Yeah, okay. It looks like we do need to sign that. Yep. That was too quick. All right, so that takes care of that. So, just uh, parking bail, we took care of the parking bail. Yep. Okay. So just one last other that I have is that on uh, Saturday, on the 14th of October, the Brookfield uh, churches connected to the original, or with roots to the original meeting house, had a service on Foster Hill where the different churches participated. We had a great turnout. Um, and this signifies the 300th anniversary of the first meeting house and the putting of the minister in position. And as it works out, on December the 18th of 2018, we, will, we have the opportunity to celebrate the 300th town meeting. Oh, really? The 300th town meeting, or next year is the 300th anniversary of the first town meeting of the town of Brookfield. So it will be something that we need to think about how to celebrate. That's a good plan. I'm glad I brought it up. I'm glad you brought it up as well. Is that as close all four Brookfields? Yeah, yes, that was when, that it, was was when it was all for Brookfields. Yeah, but, but now rather than where the meeting house was being in West Brookfield, yeah. we get to celebrate because we are Brookfield. So, with that, anything else to come before the board? Once, twice. So with that, I'd entertain a motion to adjourn. You have that motion? I'll second it. Those in favor of adjourning, signify by saying aye. 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 And we're out of here. And it is, it is 704. Thanks, Kevin.